Hey everyone, Thorin Smash here, and Season 22 is off to an interesting start. There's a lot of new modes like Revival coming in, there's Straight Shot Revival, Ranked Rumble, but Apex Legends and Respawn are planning something pretty big, and it's going to be a return to form. And today we're going to go over what we know about the OG mode and also Dummy's Big Day and the other events coming this season. We're going to go over all of that, but we're also going to go ahead and give out a Bangalore Heirloom Recolor. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. But without further ado, let's talk about what Apex Legends has in store for the fans. So Apex Legends is is trying to roll the clock back a little bit on the game. You might have noticed that we are getting a lot of new LTMs and some of them are pretty awesome. I am a huge fan actually of the Revival Trios mode. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I will say they just did something recently where they removed the ability to get badges in the game mode. I think that is actually a step back and that Respawn at this point in the stage of the game should go ahead and allow badges to be earned in these kind of modes or at least unique special ones for it, like a 30 bomb or an 8K damage. Just something that makes it a little bit more fun to grind for because it does have a lot of potential. That being said, there is going to be a new straight shot rumble coming up, which will have its own badges that you can see here. This is, I think, coming in between August 20th and 27th. It's once again, the ranked rumble mode, and there are four unique ones like top 100 and straight shot rumble and participated in it. But overall, it would be nice to get some new weapon and damage ones. That being said, as I mentioned, they are going back and trying to turn back the clock. And one of the big things is they are going to be doing an OG mode in the very near future. We've received a ton of new leaks about it. In fact, it was originally called Merc Mode NWP, let me and Ritz King know on Discord. It's basically going to be a solo queue rumble setup, just very similar. And Ritz King is looking in the scripts for anything new about it. That being said, it's going to go ahead and revert everything back to Season 2 meta. That means the Spitfire is going to be going back to heavy ammo. The Wingman also going back to heavy ammo. This was a very different meta at the time, and it's going to be interesting to see how it plays. It will be fun for a lot of newer players to go ahead and experience what Apex Legends was like on day one, which was in my opinion one of the best versions of the game i also do hope they go ahead and bring back some of the og maps like the og king's canyon which did have skull town thunderdome right next to each other and a lot different versions of the map which some could actually argue was some of the best versions of the map to go ahead and run around on. They did actually do this before with the Genesis collection event in season nine, where they returned, I believe, World's Edge and King's Canyon back to the old form. We haven't seen something like Olympus get returned, which I would also be interested in. Storm Point, I actually think is fine the way it is right now, but it would be fun for this mode to go ahead and bring back some of the OG stuff. And it could bring back a lot of the older players that have left that just didn't get along with the newer meta. Along with this, there's also word about a Dummies Big Day coming back, which is one of the funnest LTMs ever. And this is once again, something I think that Respawn is trying to go ahead and do to go back to their old version of themselves. Although it is a completely different team at this point working on the game for the most part. Ritz King actually found a playlist icon added to Apex Legends for Dummies Big Day. And it means that it's likely coming back in the very near future. I'll actually play this clip right here of when it launched so you can get an idea of what it did. But this was one of the best events of all time because, well, it featured so many different LTMs all in one event. I'll go ahead and play it right now. That is a pretty awesome thing that they did, although not all the modes ended up working out right away. I would love it if we got more events, not with just one LTM that took over for a day or two, like Trio's Revival, but then if you added in three strikes, third person mode, live, die, live, dummies, big day, and you made it a big extravaganza, just like in that clip. It was so hype when these events came out because while the skins were popular, what really made it fun was all the different new ways to play in just a couple of days and really brought a lot of players on. Euro did let us know that there are a couple of LTMs coming. Obviously, Straight Shot is in the game right now, but there's also going to be a Bounty Hunter mode for the next collection event, which starts on September 18th, although that's most likely to be a milestone event because Respawn keeps going back and forth on it. He did let us know the schedule is still subject to change, but the Bounty Hunter is a remake of an old LTM, and it makes me wonder if that's the OG mode or if that's going to be the Dummies Big Day with a twist. We just don't know yet. There's also even another 
another LTM that's supposedly coming. According to Ritzking, he did let us know there are void weapons that are modified versions of the guns that are coming for an upcoming LTM. Rampart has voice lines for it along with a few other legends. It is tied to Alter as she is bringing in void weaponry, but we still haven't gotten any news on that as well. Of course, we're gonna have our normal events that we see as seasonal holidays. This season, we actually should be seeing the Halloween event, which is one of my personal favorites. I love the Titanfall movement where we can run on walls. Sometimes we get Prowler pets. Once again, if they're actually going back to the original version of stuff, I still would love to see the first Halloween mode we got where we had to escape to a dropship with 10 people while the rest of the lobby hunted us down as zombies. That was an amazing mode, yet we've never seen it come back, but I am hopeful. But they are experimenting with some new stuff because Ritz King also did let us know Winter Express is coming back to Apex Legends in season 23, which is going to be the cosmic season. Although it's going to be coming back with a twist and I'm interested to see as we get closer to that date what that twist is There's still like I said a lot of good events coming this season like the Halloween event with this cool vampire hunter skin And they always kind of go all out for the Halloween stuff But I would love to see respawn go ahead and mess more with what the OG fans love because it feels like a lot of the player base Has left and moved on to other games just because they didn't follow the meta or didn't care for a lot of the changes that happened So having an OG mode where we can go back and remember the game in its early days I think would reignite a lot of passion and love even if it's not a permanent thing because they've made so many changes over the years Just having it for a week or two would really bring out the nostalgia And I think bring a lot of us back together with our old friends who remember playing this five years ago when it released Let me know down below What are your guys' thoughts on an OG Apex Legends mode making a return and also dummies big day? And how have you been enjoying season 22 so far? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor Novell who does amazing Apex Legends content And until next time everyone keeps slaying in the outlands. See you out there